I recently read an article that stated how to turn $3,000 into $41 million lessons from a century. Now, I know what everybody's thinking, a century, a hundred years, like who, who's going to be invest for a hundred years and never, never, just never enjoy none of the profits and then you'd be dead and then the 41 million and everybody else can enjoy it. Well, no, I think that it was a great article. And if you read it, let me know in the comments below. It was pretty much, it took information from a century. If you invested $3,000 back in 1920s, which $3,000 was the average household income. If you invested that into the Dow, into a few of certain sectors, it would now today be worth $41 million. Yes, centuries a long time. But what I thought about is the importance of long-term investing. And I think that this article, I don't want to, uh, you know, break down every single detail of the article. You can go read the article. It's out there. The importance is the importance of long-term investing and long-term investing just you're, you're gonna win in my eyes in my like if anybody's out there looking for a strategy long-term investing you are going to win over time stop looking at it as short perspective you can lose a lot of money i know plenty plenty of people i know people from the stars group chat who've lost money short-term investing i've lost money short-term investing my friends have lost money short-term investing uh, so what does that tell me that long-term investing is so much more important so much more valuable than short-term investing. Yes, you can make you can make money short-term. I'm not saying you can't. You can definitely make money. You can definitely roll the dice. Uh, you can, you know, maybe you can make more money than someone could long-term. It really depends on how you invest long-term and how you look at it, how the opportunities break out. So, you, I feel like you can make millions of dollars off investing thousands of dollars. You just have to have a longer-term outlook my my outlook is usually five to ten years and with I count you know I count I'm counting 2020 it could be you know right before the the next election happens for me personally I have my five ten my five year option and then I have my 10 year option but let me not speak too much on it let's let's bring in a special guest y'all have seen him before my man shout him out and make sure y'all follow his YouTube channel Rasta Stocks, let us know your thoughts on investing. What's up, stock fam? It's Rasta from Discord, Future Millionaires. First things first, Happy New Year's. Okay. Um, investing has been a journey for me because I've learned so much. I started out with $200 and things are going good, you know. Um, I sold Canopy Growth and Carnival Cruise Line when I just started out because I wanted to get in a growth stock like Tesla. But I wish I didn't sell those stocks. I should have held on because they are doing quite well. But hey, listen, you learn from those mistakes. I'm back in those two stocks right now. I'm going to continue to hold those stocks for the next five to 10 years. And another thing, do your due diligence? Do your research? And stocks that I'm looking at right now are CRISPR Technologies, Plug Power, DraftKings. Oh, yes, Shaddai, this is a question for you, bro. NIO. Let me know what you think about NIO, bro, because I feel like they're going to do great. They're going to do great, bro. They're going to do great in China and Europe. So let me know your thoughts and your opinions on that, bro. And for those of you guys who just started out investing, any stock you believe that's going to do good, stick to it. You ride the wave. Don't necessarily follow everybody's thoughts and opinions. You got to do your own research. Any stock that anybody tell you about, you do your research on. On that note, I'm going to let you guys get back to my boy Shaddai so he could tell you more knowledge, a.k.a. spit fire to you guys. On that note, peace. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot, almost forgot. Guys, one of the most important things about investing, don't be afraid to invest because you don't want to regret not investing in a company. So don't be afraid and take the risk. Scared money don't make no money.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rasta, for sharing your thoughts and your experience. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel, like, watch the videos. I can guarantee you he does his research and due diligence. Now, back to the 3,000 into 41 million. It can happen. Let's say it was 50 years. That means it would have been 20 million. 25 years, it would have been, you do the math. You do the math. It really depends on how long you want to hold out when it comes to this long-term gain. But over time, stocks will gain more. Stocks are way more now than they were 10 years ago, 20 years ago. You just have to have patience. So you can turn a couple thousand dollars into hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars potentially, depending on how your strategy is to invest and depending on what you invest into. You invest into growth, you invest into value. Do your research. Now, this leads to my word of the week, which is due diligence. What is due diligence, you may be wondering. Due diligence is an investigation, an audit, a review of what's being presented. You're, you're trying to confirm the facts. That's what due diligence is. Let's say, for example, if an article says uh, Zynga is going to be the next stock to soar 25%. Well, you're gonna go, doing your due diligence is you're gonna go online and you're gonna see what's on, what, what's Zynga's, what did they say in their last quarter report? What was, what was mentioned in the last earnings call? Did they say that they expect to see some type of an increase? Or did they say they see, expect to see some type of a decrease? Now, if you see that Zynga saying they expect a 35% increase, and then you see some other stuff that shows that. You see their earnings growing. You see other things. You're looking at their financials. You're doing your due diligence. You're speaking to other people. Hey, what do you see? Having conversation. That's doing your due diligence. You're researching. You're checking things out to confirm that what this article is saying or what these analysts are saying is true. And we have to do our due diligence. That there's, if there's one thing I always promote, it's doing your research, doing your due diligence, which is pretty much the same thing. And that's because you can't just rely. I don't want you to rely on me. I tell people that all the time. I don't want you to rely on me. Let's ha I'd rather us have conversation and debates about stocks rather than you just be like, hey, should I? What other opportunities or what should I invest in? Or no, 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 no. Pick some companies you like and say, hey, should I? What do you think about? Arc genomics, or what do you think about canopy growth now that it's risen up to twenty, thirty dollars? Let's have a conversation. That way, we can work on our research, work on our due diligence. It can make us better. Trust me, you don't want to be depending on anybody because when it's time to sell, when it's time to buy, you don't got time to call nobody. You ain't got time to wait for an answer. You got to make money. It's gonna take time for you to feel more comfortable, but the more comfortable you feel, the better you get. Just ask, continue to ask questions. And if you wanna join the Stocks Room Chat, shoot me a DM above and I will get you all the details you need to join the Stocks Group Chat. And we're just trying to build generational wealth where the future millionaires, that's what the stocks call the future millionaires. And I know there's multiple, 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 if not all future millionaires in that group because not everybody's gonna make it. That's just the truth. Not everybody has the will to put in the action, to put in the time, to put in the research. So make sure you're doing your due diligence. That's important, very key.